Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make sushi. What you're going to need is two cups of steamed rice, some nori papers. You can get whatever you can find, but we like to get the ones that are picked by hand because it's just better for the creatures living in the ocean around the sushi. So if you can find those, great. If not, just get what you can. I used to buy these at Whole Foods, and then I went to an Asian market, and I found organic roasted ones for like half the price, um, and they're also picked by hand. So I'm going to continue getting them from there. So if you can find an Asian market, that's where I would look first. So then you're going to need sugar, Himalayan sea salt, or whatever kind of salt, and rice vinegar. And it has to be rice vinegar. It can't be regular vinegar. I don't think apple cider vinegar. I always use rice vinegar. I don't want to mess with the flavor. So if you want to try it out with other vinegars and let me know, you can go ahead and be the guinea pig. So what you're going to do is you're going to put about half a cup of rice vinegar in a cup with sea salt and sugar. If you use raw sugar like I do, it doesn't dissolve very easily so I put the salt and the sugar in the cup first then I add a tiny bit of boiling water just to dissolve the sugar otherwise you're gonna pour it into the rice and it's just gonna be sugar in the bottom of your cup so once you have the mixture all settled and everything's dissolved you're just gonna pour it into your rice and you're gonna mix it around that's what's gonna make it taste like sushi rice so I don't know what I was thinking. Usually I do three cups of rice, but that's when it's for two people. This is just for me, so I did two. And it's a little more liquidy, I guess, than it's supposed to be. So don't make the same mistake as me and do three cups of rice instead of two, and then it will be perfect. But I'm still gonna use it because I don't wanna be wasteful. And it will be fine. It just won't be perfect. And that's fine so on to the next also you're gonna wait until the rice is cooled down because hot rice is not kind to the hands so just kind of mix it together and then let it cool down until you can handle it and also you don't want it to have too much heat because then the steam from it is gonna jack up your nori sheet so just be patient, let it sit for about 10-15 minutes until it's cool, about lukewarm, room temperature, tepid, whatever you want to call it, and then begin. That'll give you enough time to chop up your ingredients. So while this is cooling down, I'm going to cut up some avocado, I'm going to shred up some carrots, and I'm going to open this bag. So if you guys can find one of these little julienne peelers, it's not like a regular peeler, it has these little sharp teeth on it so that you can do this. And it just peels little slivers. It's like instantly shreds carrots for you. And it's kind of messy. I've never used one of these before, so we'll do this together for the first time. But. It's a hell of a lot easier than chopping carrots into tiny little slivers by hand. That's what I used to do. I don't know. This thing might be a pain in the ass. Yeah. I think this is garbage. I don't know why people use these. So we're going to go to step plan B. Step B. So step B. It's plan B. We're gonna go to that. Okay, plan B. Get rid of this. We'll still keep those and just pick out the big pieces and just eat them. So, we are going to cut the top off of that and use the veggie noodler. If you guys don't have one of these, you're truly missing out. You take the end that's the biggest, which is not very easy with these carrots. They're very skinny carrots. Just put it in and twist it. And it makes noodles. 
out of vegetables. So we're going to do this. I think this is easier. Might not be as fast, but I don't know. I think it's easier. And then you can just have long things of carrot to just put on your sushi roll. Carrot noodles. So I'm going to do a couple of these and then we'll go on to the next. So now I feel bad. I use this thing again and it works okay. So I guess the trick is to do, leave it on the counter and kind of do it a little bit slower and then it works fine. So sorry for the heavy breathing if you can hear that. It's weird. So just thin little strips of goodness. So use whatever tool you want. If you want to cut it by hand, be my guest. I'm going to give this a little more practice and who knows, it might be my new favorite kitchen gadget, except it does this. Then you have a chunk of carrot that all you can do is eat it, which I guess is not the best thing ever. Okay. I think that's enough carrots for now. So we just need to cut the avocado and open the bag of lettuce, which I don't think you need to watch me do, but I guess we'll try open the avocado, see if it's a good one. If not, I'm going to be pissed. And say, you ready? Ta-da! Okay, so it's a little bit not the best avocado ever, but it's not the worst, so it's fine. I don't know how you guys do avocado, but I've seen where people, I don't know, they just peel the edge off, so we'll try it. Oh, totally works. Okay, we'll go that way. You just peel it. Who knew? It's kind of cool. The things you learn on YouTube. I don't remember who I saw doing that, but I thought they were really handy. Apparently it's pretty easy. And then you just take your avocado and you slice it into thin little slices or thick depending on what you like. I don't really have preference, so I'm just gonna cut the avocado. And I guess everything's ready now. It's kind of a mess, but it's ready. Got carrots. Not the best looking avocado on the planet. And a bag of lettuce. If you don't like lettuce in your sushi, don't do it. If you don't like avocado, don't do it. If you don't like carrots, don't do it. I don't, something's wrong with you, but don't do it. Um, I totally forgot the most important thing when you're making sushi, a sushi mat. This one I wrapped in plastic because rice sticks to this and then you have to clean it and then you have a really gunky, icky sushi mat. So if you wrap it in plastic, when you're done, you just wipe it off. Super easy. So if you don't have one of these, I, it's not imperative that you have one, but it is incredibly helpful if you do. Okay, trying to get a good angle for you guys. Do you notice my counter is my cutting boards because this is my counter space. It is incredibly small. So under those is my kitchen sink. So that's why I'm always using cutting boards. It's not my counter. It's actually my fake counter because I have no counter. So there we go. So you're just going to have your little sushi board wrapped in plastic so that you don't have to wash it or throw it out all the time when it gets disgusting. Then you're going to get your little sushi paper. So you'll notice on the sushi paper, there's one side that has all these little kind of dents in it. And then there's another side that's much nicer looking. It's smooth, nice. That's the outside. So you want the little, little dents and that sort of thing looking at you when you're making your sushi. So lay that side face up. Then you're going to take your now cooled down rice and you're just going to kind of smash it onto the sushi wrapper. And you don't want it to be incredibly thick. You just kind of want a thin layer of rice. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just try to do the best 
you can. Practice makes perfect. In worst case, you're going to have to eat a few sushi rolls to figure out how to do it perfectly. Darn. So what you're going to want to do too is you're going to leave a little line at the top. So when you are done rolling, that's how you're going to seal it shut. You're going to have a little thing of water next to your, wow, your sushi rolling station. About like that. See? Not perfect. Don't care. Little cup of water. Boop. Alright, so now you're just going to layer it on there. I like to put lettuce in mine. You don't have to. You can do spinach. You can do cucumbers. You can leave it out. If you just want to do an avocado roll, just do a carrot roll. I don't know. Do whatever makes you happy. Put whatever you want. Just don't overstuff it. I haven't figured that out yet. I always overstuff them, but I'm working on it. Put whatever in there you like. Get creative, as long as it's vegan. Carrots, and then some of this cucumber. A little bit. I like to just put it all the way across. Then, you're going to take your wrapper, and you're just going to roll it might be easier from the other angle okay that's probably better right you're just gonna roll and you're gonna press down each time you do you're gonna lift up your just this not the actual nori roll then you're gonna roll it again and squish it back down then lift it up again and i like to move it back just a little bit now here's where you do the water you just dab your finger in the water it doesn't need to be crazy wet and you're just gonna get this little part wet it doesn't need to be soaking wet just a little bit damp just kind of run your finger along there that's what's gonna seal it shut then you just take your final roll all the way over squish it down really easy once you get the hang of it it's kind of intimidating because you're like why do they charge $12 a roll it must be hard no it's really easy and they're taking advantage of you especially for an avocado roll that's like seven bucks. I don't think so. I'll make my own. Then you just take your knife and be careful not to cut yourself, but make sure your knife is wet because the rice is starchy and it loves to stick to your knife. Then you're just gonna take your knife and cut it. And every couple of rolls that you cut, you're just gonna kinda make sure the knife is not sticky, just make sure it's a little wet. Make sure your knife is sharp, otherwise you're just going to smush your roll. And just cut them. And you don't want to do gigantic pieces. I mean, maybe you do, but they're kind of hard to eat like that. See? My knife's not incredibly sharp, and that's what happens. You know what you do with that? You just eat it. Not a big deal. Then... Very last one. Oh darn, it got messed up. I'm just gonna eat it. It's pretty good on some, but you're like, okay, but now what sauce do we make? I'll show you. You go to the store and you buy this. If you can't find this, you buy something really similar. You ever get sick of just sushi with wasabi and soy sauce? This is a great way to change it up. Get a little spicy, sweet ginger chili sauce. You can probably make one yourself, but I don't have a recipe for that because I just buy it. So, there you go. Sushi. Really easy, inexpensive. Don't pay them to make it for you. They're ripping you off. You guys thought I was done, huh? And not going to show you how to make a sauce. Well, just kidding. So, get some soy sauce. We just use the reduced sodium because it's salty enough. And put however much you want. Then you're going to use some minced garlic. This is not the same 
as chopping garlic yourself. It tastes different. It tastes better when you're doing sauces like this. So just a little bit of minced garlic in there. A little more. And sriracha sauce. If you don't have sriracha sauce, I'm sorry. You could use any kind of hot sauce you want. A little bit of sriracha, a lot of sriracha, whatever makes you happy. And then some sesame seeds. Just a little bit. You don't want to go too crazy. A little bit of sesame seeds. And then you're just going to mix it up. But not before adding, well, I guess, yeah, after adding, before adding, I don't know, at some point before you eat it, add a little bit of sweet. I'm going to use some bee-free honey. If you guys haven't had this yet, it's pretty amazing. It is, emulates honey almost exactly, and it has a tiny hint of apples at the end. But no bees were harmed in the making of it. So, that's it. Super easy, simple sauce. If you don't want it spicy, leave out the sriracha. If you don't want it sweet, leave out the sugary stuff. Or you could just make it and try it before you start to say that you don't like it. And you take your little sushi roll that you just made, dunk it in, and enjoy. Thanks for watching, guys.